You may already have seen this. My mic just went over. You may have already seen this on another channel about Bank of America increasing significantly the amount of positions of shares that we're holding so far in AMC going to 95% increase. But it is not actually what you have heard so far. There is not actually what it seems like because when you get into the details of the filings on Fintel, of course, you can see that they are now sitting on 1.1 million shares with an average of 33.45. But they also have some put and some calls. And when you get into the details of that, you can see although they are sitting on the total holdings valued at $66 million as of 2021, I mean, as June 30th of this year, with 1.1 million shares, they are also known and have the history of taking positions in derivatives of the underlying security which is amc in the form of stock options and they are holding 180,000 call valued at 10.2 million dollars but way more options i mean way more put options 1 million put options valued at 58.7 million dollars so even though when you compare the total amount of the bullish sentiment versus the you know the the bearish sentiment um it adds up to you know 66 plus 10 it equals 70 million so almost 76 million dollars worth of a long position versus 58 which is the short positions okay now which is what is even more interesting is the fact that among the list of the short sellers in AMC, you have Bank of America, alongside Citadel, alongside Simplex Trading, SG3. Here it is, Bank of America as of um, August 16 was already sitting on 1 million shares shorted. And this was an increase of six, almost 700%, almost 700%. So they were initially shorting AMC. Now. If you look at a chart, if they were shorting this at 33, all right, and the, sh the, the stock jumped to 52 or even 47, this is a big increase against the initial position they took in AMC, which was a short position. So they had to buy some calls. They had to increase their shares in order to balance and minimize the risk of the short position they had so far because if you keep your position you're gonna get either a margin call or will be forced to had to add some cash or to get out by covering but for some reason it seems like they came around and right now by looking at the details of it you know having 76 million versus um, um 58 i will say they are more long then short on AMC, but I think initially it's because the, 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 the share price did not go along the direction they anticipated and they had to adjust along the way, which is ultimately bullish. But so far, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't sit well with me that people will see the increase of Bank of America in here as a bullish thing because they are actually covering their short positions by adding those shares. So ultimately it's it's bullish and the data shows that you know they are a part of the thing. But this is the thing with some of some of the institutions. You just never know until the filings come along. But it adds up to the fact that when you look at actually where the short interest is sitting, I shared this on a separate video earlier today the data that we are actually sitting at today, you know, with 20% of the short interest estimate percentage, it's actually the, the exact same we had on May 28th, which if you go back to May 28th, was really the day prior to the whole spike on new autumn high. So maybe Bank of America saw in this coming and had to increase the amount of shares they were holding in order to make sure they were profiting from a bullish sentiment in order to hedge, in order to minimize the risk of losing too much money into the puts which they were initially invested in. So as always, guys, um, it's not because these institutions are doing something major with the study that it means 
it, it, it has to go along that side. But the fact that it kind of came around, it's definitely a good thing moving forward. 